welcome to Spokey CNC Woodworks. I'm Brian, and I'm late on my video this week. As you saw there at the very first of the video, uh, we were up in the mountains. We were in eastern Oklahoma. Uh, my wife had been wanting to see the fall foliage, and so she said that we were going this last weekend. What am I saying? I put my foot down and said, woman, we're going this weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it went something like that. <laughs> So anyway, we went out to eastern Oklahoma and western Arkansas, and it's called the Talamina Drive. Clearly, it was a bit of a fail. Everything was still kind of green, or it was brown. We got a real hard frost before they got the chance to change colors. So it may not do it as full this year as it usually does. It's usually just beautiful colors. So we had to go this last weekend because we got a trade show this next weekend, so we weren't gonna be able to make it. And this next weekend is actually probably gonna be the good one. So today I'm gonna cut a logo sign for Gilbrook Farms. It's a channel that uh, is based in the Appalachian Mountains. Uh, it's a family of four. It's Jeremy, Jamie, and their two daughters. And basically it's a, a farming channel and they do as much as they can off grid. Uh, it's some really cool stuff. A lot of the things they do, the things they've improvised and the way they've come up to do things. Right now they're in the middle of a house build, which is a pretty neat thing the way they've got that going. So I'll talk more about them at the end of the video. For now, let's go.
So that was it guys, it came out pretty sharp. I made a last second change on this. I was actually gonna do this in uh, the birch plywood I've been doing a lot of stuff in lately. I really like doing birch because it stains real even, it cuts real sharp, real crisp, very little sanding. But I was at the lumber yard and at the last minute I saw some, a nice board of cedar and I just had to snatch it up. <laughs> and so I thought, you know what, I'm doing it on this one because it stains, it leaves a nice color. And when I throw some poly on this thing, when it dries, it will just pop. So as I said, this uh, Gilbrook Farms is out of the Appalachian Mountains. They just have some different things going on on their farms than what a normal farmer would counter because they're trying to do so much off grid. You ought to run over and check their channel out. I mean, their their whole family is involved in it. Their kids get on it. They have two daughters, and they just got some cool things going on. So I've also got a trade show going this weekend, as I mentioned earlier, and hopefully. I can get my next one out on time on Sunday, but I'm not promising anything because our trade show is Friday and Saturday, and we actually have to go Thursday to set it all up. So it's a several day process when you go to one of these bigger ones. And so I'm gonna spend the next the rest of the week cutting things to sell. And so I'll be out here all week just doing that stuff, and so I probably won't be shooting another video this week. I'm just hoping we get back early enough Saturday Probably wishing. Uh, I really don't see us getting back that early Saturday, but anyway, we can, if not, I'll cut it Sunday, and if I can get that thing out Sunday, I'll do it. If not, it'll be Monday of next week. But guys, that's about it for this time. If y'all had not done so yet, please subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.